Welcome back YouTube. Today we're going to be changing the rear tire on a 2006 Harley Ultra Classic. So I'm going to be showing you how to remove and install the tire on the rear wheel. I've already taken the saddlebags off. It's pretty easy. So, let's show you the other side. It's a little dark in there, but a little dusty too. Anyways, so I'm just going to show you how I do this and uh, get started, alright? Alright, first thing we're going to do, take a flathead, spin this clip around until we get underneath it, kind of twist the screwdriver until she pops out. I do things differently. I don't take the exhaust off because, uh, yeah, they can be a pain in the ass sometimes. What I like to do is, got the bike supported, just lift it up just enough. I need to lower it down just a little bit, actually. Just enough to where the tire touches the, f and the camera's moving. There. Just enough to where it touches the ground. Loosen it up. Grab my handy dandy ratchet, or electric ratchet, I should say. Kind of move that out the way. Like so. Now I can't get to that just yet. We're going to go on the other side. Loosen this other one up. Now let's loosen up the other side. So I just like to crack it loose. Take our 36 millimeter socket. Oh, silly me. Gotta lower the bike first. Clear the exhaust. That should be enough. His exhaust is pretty rusty, so I'm sure he's not gonna. Might have scratched, but I'm good practice not to scratch it up. Treat all bikes the same as best I can. Take your nut off. Ta-da! Hopefully, I'm not looking at this. Hopefully, this thing comes off pretty easy. Set that off to the side. <clears throat> Finish tapping that in. Then, before I forget, what I like to do is flip this down, grab one on the bottom, take the side cover off. Held on with these tabs and some rubber ground. It's just gonna kind of wiggle and pry at the same time, and they'll pop right off. And just pop right back. So let's go to the other side. Slide the axle out some. It's not gonna clear. Will we get lucky? Not have to loosen it. Oh, look at that. Oh. Didn't have to even loosen the exhaust off like I do as you do on this side. Good thing, because this guy's got this little, like, safety wire right there. It's replacement of the bolt. Got a spicer. Now what I'm going to do is 
lift this back up and temporarily come on temporarily start this bolt back up just a few threads move the wheel forward slip our belt off let's go back to the other side now this brake caliper is usually kind of tricky since it's the mount the bracket is part of the caliper at the same time it's kind of tricky lift it up see if you can't twist the wheel as you're trying to get this tab off of here let's get this see if we can't get the spacer out there's a spacer between the wheel right caliper see if we can't open them pads up some oh look at that brake pads about halfway worn out not too bad slightly just sent sit that somewhere and <clears throat> now we got everything loose jack the bike up pull the wheel out brake caliper on the caliper you'll see this little rubber like cylinder deal it tends to kind of flop out of the way and stuff like that when you're trying to put it back there what I like to do take a little bit of kind of soapy water that I use to change the tires with kind of squirt it down squirt it down the little ledge that it rides on kind of help lubricate things now basically the same process of putting it on as it was taking it off. It's over the it's over the rotor now. So it's kinda hard to see with my hands in the way. But kind of turn crooked the wheel. I can already get it on there. 
watch that little cylinder thing. Make sure it doesn't. So right now it's catching the edge. It's starting to fold up. Take a screwdriver or something. Kind of make sure it stays down. Kind of wiggle it. It's another reason why you use the water. Is to kind of help lubricate that thing. So if not, it won't slide on the on this deal all the way. Feel it, my finger. I can take my finger and feel it. Let's see if I can get back there. And Mr. Pain in the Butt you are. I don't know why they needed it to stick out just a little bit. They could have made it. This is probably the hardest part of this whole wheel job is this damn thing. Seriously. Just Alright, I'm gonna come back. Literally, I moved the camera out of the way so I can get in there a little better, and it pops in. Basically, I just kind of pushed it in from the back side, kind of wiggled it up, so up and down like that, and it eventually popped in. Now, I don't think it worked every time, 60% of the time, but worked this time. Take our spacer, stick it between the caliper and the wheel bearing. There's, it's, the bearing's kind of recessed into a little pocket, so it should hold it for now. Let's go to the other All side. Right. First thing we're going to do, clean off our axle. Wipe all that old grease and grime. Hopefully anti-seize that someone else put on there. Clean it off pretty good. Pretty good. Then... Take some anti seize non copper and just a light coating across it. It doesn't have to be thick, it's a nice light coating across it. Alright, now take our spacer, you got a thick end here that kind of faces outward. Stick it in, kind of lift up the swing arm. Oh, I, unbolt, I unscrewed the swing arm. Then Take your axle, get through the swing on the spacer. Oh, sorry guys. There we go. Now I'm gonna lower the bike some. It's kind of hitting the exhaust, but it's underneath this. And so, 
I gotta lower the bike just a little bit and turn it a little bit better. Spacers on the other side. It seems like it's hitting them. Which it is. Make sure everything's lined up. Sometimes twisting the axle will help. I trust my jack stand, so. <laughs> and also the front wheel is in a wheel chuck. So, I don't feel the bike's going anywhere. Alrighty then, let's go to the other side. All right, we're gonna take our spacer here. You can see where the nut was riding. And then you got a D slot. You know, flat side little flat side on the axle there put that on take our cone nut obviously the cone end goes out flat side goes in Fancy torque wrench get me down to 20 foot pounds. I'm just gonna snug this nut down. What it does is keeps that axle from wanting to free spin on its own when you're trying to make the belt adjustment. This way, when you get it where you need it, it doesn't loosen up that easy. So, what I like to do is Lift the bike up. I put I don't know, lower it down. I like to put one of these shocks in, and then get the wheel off the ground. That's it. Let's go to the other side. Now. wrench 36 millimeter turn it clockwise see how the cams riding up against that lug that's what this does is evenly pulls the wheel back but then also puts tension on your wheel so my belt's a little snug so what I do is spin it make sure there's no loose or tight spots the wheel, the belt is even Usually it loosens up a little bit. I'll give them. Uh. Yep, belt's good. All right, so I'll lower it down and torque it up.
and then torque them down and oh 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 don't ever forget that safety clip i've had a couple bikes where these but this nut was loose when i showed up i'm talking about finger loose and so so yeah you need that safety clip on there if you don't got it man it's only a couple bucks do not skip out on that my friend all right Weight back off this bolt. Right there. And then let's go to the other side, get that one started. Oh, yeah. Alright, we're gonna put this on. Sometimes the bolt doesn't line up just right, and so you kinda gotta push down or lift up on the bike. Got it started. Make sure it's started but by hand before you go using any power tools or ratchet because cross thread this thing man you might get lucky and have to take the wheel back off and run the bolt or a tap through it but pain in the ass my friend tell you what I did that once and that's all it takes for me I don't know what happened but I messed up the first thread on that that hole in the swing arm Woo, man I was sweating Luckily, I took the wheel off and didn't mess up the threads on the bolt. I just ran the bolt back through the other way. That was it. And it reshaping them threads. Oh, uh, 65 foot pounds, 19 millimeter socket. Now, if this feels like it's going to strip on you, do not torque it down to 65. Like this one. I'm at 60, so I'm going to leave it right there. That's good enough for me. So I'm cutting my specs are in the middle, so that's probably it right there. So uh, all I gotta do is the other side. Torque down the other side, put your saddlebags back on. Uh, make sure you've torqued everything, your safety clips back on, and you're good to go. Also, uh yeah, take take for a spin. Test ride. There you go guys. 2006. Yeah, 2006 Ultra Classic Harley Davidson. Changing out the back tires, showing you, showing you how to remove and install the wheel. Now, the other shock bolt did torque down to 65 foot pounds, perfectly fine. The other one just didn't like it, so 60 pounds it is. All right. So just because the torque spec says a certain spec, if it's not feeling right when you're trying to get there, don't send it. <laughs> Trust me. Don't send it. So, uh, this guy's got some new rubber on his bike. And he's ready to go as far as his back tire. His front tire's looking okay. So, he'll need a new front tire here. Probably before the, around springtime, depending on how much he rides. So, but, that's it for today. If you like what you see, give me a thumbs up. Comment down below if you like it. Uh, let me know what you like. Let me know what you don't like. You know, uh... So, and subscribe and hit that bell. So you, I'm trying to do this a little bit more regularly, all right? See you guys next time. Adios.